ever there is one driver which can propel our country to full scale develop status, then it is through quality skills training. On that front, the Council for Technical and Vocational Education and Training, COTVET, through a skills development fund, is spearheading that agenda in Ghana. Who is going to provide the mm -hmm. service? And our main focus has been on mass production of garments. There was a lot of talk about Sakawa. Are you able to use these same processes to also apprehend people? That, that is correct. Ghana. Our research showed that Ghana was at the number eight in the world when it comes to cybercrime. On this program, we shall open up the SDF to you. Yeah, so SDF is here to support businesses to train their staff to be very productive. All that we're trying to do is to build a very solid human capital base. We shall profile beneficiaries of SDF. We are now even positioned to train about 400 workers. We gave them uh, 276,000 US dollars. There is a fund from which we are giving grants to businesses to address these challenges. You, you develop these Moringa plants into, into products like soap, creams, okay. Watch SDF Diaries on the Joy News Channel on Multi TV every Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDF, managed by Cutbet, is an initiative of the government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danida. In today's global world, success depends on one's ability to harness and develop the elements of intangible wealth and capital such as ideas, knowledge and expertise to add and create new value. In Ghana and much of Africa, economic gains in the past decade is gradually being challenged by deficiencies in the skills and knowledge base of the workforce, especially the youth. The lack of creativity has limited innovations in our development agenda. Sustaining economic growth and development requires creative ingenuity with an appreciable level of skills and knowledge development of the labor force. Today, we visit Ascent and Arts Limited, an Accra-based manufacturer of high-quality art furniture and an operator of an art training institute to find out how it has benefited from SDF support for skills upgrading. I am Albert Ankara and I warmly welcome you to SDF Diaries. Stay tuned in. Accent and Art Limited was established in 1999 as a sole proprietorship art studio to exhibit sculptured art works. It expanded into producing exquisite art furniture from wrought iron metal and wood. In 2011, the business registered as a limited liability company and expanded into the construction of metal stairways, balustrades, ornamental gadgets, and burglar proofing. The company offered internship and apprenticeship opportunities to selected individuals to work in the factory to acquire skills and improve their craftsmanship. The company has created a productive network of business associates and collaborators whose business referrals complement the repeat business of satisfied clients, which is the main source of the company's business. Ascent and Art Limited boast of clients in the middle to upper income households and corporate giants in Ghana including Labadi Beach Hotel, Tasek, Schlumberga, Parliament House and the Diplomatic Community. The main objectives of Ascent and Art Limited are to be acknowledged as a market leader that delights its customers with exceptional quality finishing and decor with a brand of innovative designs supported by a motivated and disciplined workforce. To focus on client needs, uncompromising commitment to quality of end products, to create value for our shareholders by creating value for clients, to offer immediate access to world-class design and manufacturing, to cultivate strategic partnership with key component manufacturers, suppliers to build a value chain that promotes sustainability and global competitiveness. 
to constantly develop and monitor high quality operations through technological and process innovation. To improve its track record as a high growth small enterprise with the capacity to generate large numbers of new jobs and skilled employable workers. The CEO of Ascent and Art Limited, Constance Swanica, talks about the aims and objectives of the company. Accent and Art was set up uh, 15 years ago to fill a void in the industry for artistically worked iron. So we work closely with um, construction professionals, um, architects, builders to provide them with um, very finely designed and finished artistic uh, architectural components like balustrades, bigger pooping, gates and so on. Well, what we realized was that um, most of the products that we do are very finished of very high standards and are all creatively thought of. Now, these are artisans that come in with virtually no background in art or whatsoever. They didn't understand what design meant. They didn't understand the importance of finish. So we had difficulty in recruiting um, skilled labor. Now this extended also to the point that um, a lot of the students that were coming in from the polytechnics and universities for industrial attachment virtually did not have any skills whatsoever. Um, what they were being thought was more theory based, um, which was quite sad because if you're doing courses like art and you've never even held a grinding machine or you, you, know, or you didn't really understand what it is to take proper measurements. You know, how do you even begin to employ these people? So you have a bedrock of artisans that are not properly skilled, and then you have so-called graduates coming out with virtually no skills. It was such a discord, um, disconnect, that we realized that we needed to work with the institutions to offer these students um, workplace experience, and then at the same time, allow our workers to also benefit from the training. So our workforce will also be exposed to um, a portion of the curricula that we've developed under this training program so that we can also upgrade their skills. The general indiscipline of youth to work has always been an issue for the company. Many young artisans are simply not aware of what is required of them to work in a business environment, says the CEO of Ascent and Arts, Constance Swanica. She observes that Evidence of this is lateness to work, lack of attention to detail, lack of professionalism and poor appreciation of work planning and lack of commitment to work contracts. Low levels of basic technical skills such as weak measurement abilities, minimum levels of literacy and numeracy, poor posture, little appreciation of factory floor etiquette and culture of teamwork are all challenges the company faced. Uh, we work closely with um, professionals in the industry. So, for instance, one of our service providers is uh, electrical. Well, he has an engineering and mechanical background from CSIR. So he developed uh, one of the modules that we use: measurement taking, um, material estimation, um, the science behind welding, and things like that. And then we're also working with a bit of the NVTI curriculum. Watch SDF Diaries on the Joy News Channel on Multi TV. Every Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDM, managed by Cutbet, is an initiative of the government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danida. Currently, the NVTI curriculum is really, really not up to the standard of university level. So we're using the basic NVTI curriculum and then adding on to um, what the consultants and um, the industry are, have also come up with. The company therefore set up a skills training center called the Art Institute as a way of addressing some of these challenges. The company devised and implemented an internship training program for students of KNUST, Takradi Polytechnic, NVTI and OIC. This internship program has been ongoing for four years to make students ready for the world of work and industry. In January 2014, Ascent and Art received a grant of 162,000 561.90 Ghana cities from the Skills Development Fund 
to develop innovative training modules in woodwork, metalwork, health and safety and basic engineering. This curricula is being used in the innovative technical skills training program currently in place which aims to upgrade the skills of industry practitioners so they can compete with imported products and also serve as subcontractors to Ascent and Art Limited. The skills training program is in woodwork, carpentry and joinery, metal product fabrication, blacksmithing and spraying. The duration spans from six weeks to six months and it's open to craftsmen who wish to attain the National Vocational Training Institute NVTI proficiency or competency-based certificates. One distinctive feature of the program is the fact that it is appropriate for craftsmen who did not follow any formal course of study but have acquired some skills directly from workshops. The program also includes a results-oriented practical entrepreneurship and small business management module. With the newly developed training modules, the Art Institute expects to churn out about 320 trainees over a two-year project period. Atu Simpson, HDF Manager on HDF's Perspective on Ascent and Arts projects. The Skills Development Fund received an application from Ascent and Arts to basically develop an innovative training content that will support um, the creative art industry to develop a much better approach to their work, to increase the standard of finishing, uh, quality, elegance. Uh, I know that in the past, Ghana used to produce most of these artisans that were actually exported across the West African sub-region, most of the, the iconic places in West Africa you see footprints of Ghanaian artists. Nowadays it's all gone uh, because we have allowed this very important value to slip through our fingers. And so when we got this application from Accent in Art to, to, to innovate and to bring about a measure between the theory and the practice of, of artwork, we felt it was a good way to go. And it fits perfectly into the objectives of the Scale Development Fund. And so we give a grant uh, to the Institute as we speak, we are very happy to note that training uh, content has been developed and tested and are over 20 uh, students. It's our wish that there's collaboration between this institute and the Polytechnics and the Tenka Universities so that when these students graduate, they can have a place to have, not their practicals, but to actually actualize their dream and to polish up and to build some competencies. If they want to start businesses, they can go and do that. But also we are looking to supporting um, businesses that are already in the construction industry, those doing joinery and carpentry and woodwork, to send their staff to this training institute so that they can obtain higher quality skills to support their firm to grow. And as a fund, our interest is saved when we have businesses thriving because they've obtained higher level skills financed by SDF. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, supports training institutions to develop innovative training content to meet key skills challenges of industry. Starting this April, watch SDF Diaries on the Join News Channel on Multi TV every Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDF, managed by Cotbet, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danida. The training model is designed to address challenges faced by the company and industry. Some of the outcomes gained by the participants of the training program are technical competence in the individual's selected area of endeavor to ensure self-confidence, professionalism and commitment to specified results, familiarity and knowledge of requisite tools, equipment, machinery, appropriate work materials, etc. that will ensure that work achieves first quality at completion and to the satisfaction of the target client. High level of productivity and efficiency so that in the end, much value and profit is earned at the end of every effort. The first batch of 23 trainees passed out in June 2014 
amidst a pomp graduation ceremony organized at the company's premises in Bubuashi. Some graduates tell us of the benefits the training is having on their businesses. Patrick Akuto, a welder with Ascent and Arts, tells us of the benefits of the training program to his business. I have learned the essence of wearing one's safety boots, ear mask and safety goggles. In terms of measurement, I used to be inaccurate, but now I know how to measure precisely. My grinding and sandpaper works have become world class, so sprayers have little finishing to do. Jonathan Konote, a welder in Accra, tells his story of how the skills acquired in metal fabrication and blacksmithing enhanced his business. Proud to join in the Arts Institute, I used to do my own job, but I realized that it wasn't too perfect. The training that I've gone through has exposed me to a lot of things. Key among them are the issues of safety. I now know that I have to put on safety clothing before I go into the workshop. So I didn't use to take measurements seriously, but with the training I've got, measurements are a key part of it, and I pay particular attention to measurements. Frank Ahin, a sprayer in Accra, tells his story of how the skills acquired in spraying has enhanced his business. Frank Ahin. My name is Frank Ahin. Proud to undertaking the program at Access and Arts, I used to learn job elsewhere. I went to school and later joined the training here at Access and Arts. I have learned how to spray perfectly. This we do after the welders have done their job. We get a lot of customers now and we are happy about the work. I'm happy about this job and a big thanks to Madame. My name is Jacob Enu Ansa and I own Enu Ansa Farms. What we are into is uh, tilapia hatchery fishing. We are concerned about increasing our production. Our biggest resource is water. Our riverbed where we source our water is drying up and we needed to recirculate the little that we get. So we heard about SDF. We applied, they approved our application, got the funding that we needed to help us uh, install the recirculation aquaculture systems and also supported us bringing an expert to train us and install the systems. Uh, since then, we've been producing uh, 600,000 from the previous 200,000 monthly. And indeed, we have capacity to do up to 1 million fingerlings. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian fans become competitive from now till 20 of July 2014. SDF is requesting firms that require innovative technology to submit their proposals for assistance. Visit sdfghana.org to apply. Daniel Adumwa, 